Original. Reliability. Best in class. Engineering. Excellence. Responsibility. Quality. Innovation. Technology. Security. Intellos. 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 You know, at the beginning, you have an image, a shape that you're trying to achieve that's a product and a business, and, and a dream that that's something that becomes successful. Then over time, that image starts to take shape. Robotics really is taking a computer and, and adding movement to it, adding its ability to sense and respond to its environment. We looked at this project as an opportunity or a responsibility to take that uh, technology and then apply it in a positive way that improves the world, that improves people's lives, right, uh, and, and helps people to uh, be safer. The issue with robotics is that pretty much anyone can build a robot in their garage, and then they could try to sell it. And then along comes Sharp, and we have 104 years of that kind of manufacturing and engineering excellence. Whether you want to think about the mechanical pencil, you know, back in, I think, 1915, where Sharp actually got its name, to the turntables that we all know inside microwave ovens. And so now we get into the security space and offer up that reliability, which is so key to this particular industry. You really, you really can't go wrong. Being a pioneer with this world-first product, we took the time to work through every challenge. Kozo Takahashi um, really felt that it was important that Sharp be a global company and saw that there were a lot of great innovative concepts that were coming out of, uh, out of the U.S. and he really wanted to tap into that. He asked a group of engineers in the U.S. to work on a, on a concept and a solution. Once they had identified the very basics of the product, then Cliff and I came on board and started going out and meeting with customers and saying, here's a concept, here's an idea. How could that benefit you and what features and functions would it need to have to do those benefits? What we were looking for was voice of the customer feedback. To be first and to build a new product from scratch is extremely challenging. But when you're making something that hasn't existed before, you really don't know what the problems are. Um, and so you go through what is an iterative process, right? So you, you build something, you see what works, and you go back and you redesign it, right? And you test it again. Right, until you have something that you, you feel is at a level that you can present to, to customers. And you go through that cycle until you have something that you feel, okay, this is really what we call an MVP, a minimum viable product. In this case, um, it took us um, about three years to get to this point. Through our development, we tested the robot on actual customer sites in order to capture and improve the product based on the findings. In a nutshell, you know, robots are really great at things that are really tedious for humans to do. A robot doesn't care about being bored. It will do the same thing over and over again. It will check the door, the gate, the window, the roadway, as many times as you want, capture the pictures every time that you want, and it will just keep going. We got a lot of feedback from the customers and from everybody else we were working with early on, and they wanted something that looked rugged, looked a bit tough, but not like a tank rolling around scaring customers and employees and things. What's nice about this product, when you see it, it makes sense, right? You, you, you talk about security and, and a, a robotic product, and there's lots of images that people have from science fiction and uh, maybe from their childhood. But if you think about security and robotics and you take a look at this product, you know, you're looking for something ultimately that's rugged and reliable and can perform the tasks and duties that are going to be demanded upon it. It's so important to have a metric behind everything. And it was very important to Sharp to put themselves out there to be held to a higher standard. So for example, to test to the ISO standard, Sharp actually built and set up a test track, just like automobile manufacturers do, to test the product over a duration of time. This is a big differentiator for Sharp in that we are, as far as I know, the first manufacturer in the U.S. to employ this safety standard for robotics for the type of application that we're working on, in this case, security. 
Why the mill standard testing was so important in the design and development of the product is this is an outdoor product intended to be used 24-7 for the life of the product. We have to show our customers that it can withstand the temperature and environmental extremes that it will be exposed to. In the case of mill standard 810, these extremes can include shock, vibration, temperature extremes, weather extremes, heavy rain, sand and dust. As a result of trials, testing, and strategic partnerships, we now have a highly reliable shop in Telos. So when we finally introduced the product at the ASIS show in Orlando in September of 2016, there was a what I call an attitude of gratitude. They had a solution that played nice with others. And when I say that, I mean that it does what it's supposed to do, what it's doing what they want it to do, and it works well with the other technologies that are in place and also the human guard force. But safety means when there is an occurrence, we don't have to send a person in to react to it. The robot helps protect uh, people. Today is unrivaled by anything else out there right now. We're looking to uh, marry technology with people. So this kind of technology could do exactly that. This is really revolutionary. It's going to change the industry in a whole new way. Well, Intellos is just at the beginning of its voyage. Just like any technology product, it will continue to evolve. We know that once the Intellos hits the ground and starts getting used in the real world, both ourselves and our customers are going to find things that none of us thought of just looking at the concept and looking at the demonstrations. Sharp Corporation is growing again and the creation of this new business is variable proof. It's a very satisfying time when you see the people that you built the product for are now embracing it. They understand it, they're utilizing it in ways that you never imagined, um, and they're making it their own. Uh, and, and that really is, you know, the, the ultimate goal.